Hey. What's up, Mia? Hey. How you doing? Good. How are hey, you guys. Doing? Welcome to Keys Moths. Mia brought me a present. I did. Mia, do you know what that is? Pop. You got it. Polly. Polly. Moth. Polly something. Bat. Polyphemus. Bat. Mia found a female polyphemus moth. And <laughs> I, I was at work today and I got a, an image like, hey, what is this? My Actually, my wife sent me a, a, an image. Hey, what is this? And I said, that's a female polyphemus moth. I said, that needs to come in a box and we were gonna get some eggs and Mia drove it down here. And sure enough, before she even got here, the polyphemus moth has already laid a whole bunch of eggs. So now Mia, do you remember who polyphemus was? No clue. No clue. Did you ever read uh, Homer's Iliad? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember the Cyclops? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Polyphemus. Yeah. yeah. So why do you think they would call this moth Polyphemus? Do you remember what was what was unique about the Cyclops creature? Oh, his eye. Yes. The big eye. Look at that. Bingo. <laughs> Somebody read. They paid attention at school. What's up? <laughs> well, Mia, thank you so much. Um, what are your thoughts on your uh, big moth girl? It's cool, but it's scary. Yeah? It looks like a spider. Like under. Oh, the legs? Yeah. Well, let's see. Well, it's got little legs. She's so cute. She's so cute. Oh, yeah. They've got these little transparent little windows in their wings. And on the hind wing, they've got the big eye spots. But, yeah, that's what's exciting to me. She's got a bunch of eggs. It's going to be fun. Mia, thank you so much. Oh, wait, there's Sophie. Hi, Sophie. I'm, well, I'm oh, just, wait. I'm so just like, look. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's. So he had to pay a couple bucks for me to be on this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah. know. Well, I don't know what we're exactly we're influencing. Right, but, yeah. I don't know who we think we are. I don't know who we're influencing. I don't know are what you teenager. Jealous? <laughs> jealous? No. Of your zero subscribers? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These girls are mean. They're so mean. It's because we love each other. Oh my gosh, Do you're so love? mean. Guys, look, we're going to raise some moths. Mia, thank you so much. Okay. Appreciate it. We'll give you updates as they go about your little babies. Sound good? Bye, What's up? Polyphemus. All right, folks. Great news. Uh, not only did our polyphemus moth lay a whole bunch of eggs, but they are beginning to hatch. As you can see, that little hatch right there is eating his eggshell. And if you look throughout this container here, you see scattered all throughout little hatches. So I'm a little late on getting them food. So I'm gonna go out and cut some oak. Uh, they feed on, polyphemus moths feed on oak. So I'm gonna get them some oak leaves and get them started because I've got probably Probably 60 or 70 eggs. If I, I mean, I haven't really counted, but it's like a loose count. Probably 60 or 70 eggs. So let's see if we can get these bad boys feeding and find some big green monster caterpillars in the next week or two. Check it out. Paco, what do you think? So, <laughs> Paco doesn't know what to think. All right, so I got a um, some oak stems from a, my neighbor's little oak tree and put them in some cups with water and one by one, I took a paintbrush and slowly transported these little baby caterpillars onto the oak stems. And so they will crawl around and eventually start to eat the oak. They started off eating their uh, eggshells, which is what are, is very common. Most species eat their eggshells. It's a nice little protein boost. And now they have to switch over to their host plant. And uh, we'll see. The only oak stem I could find is on a little tiny tree. And the leaves are kind of old. Polyphemus don't seem to mind old leaves. But I'm going to try and get them some newer leaves too. Uh at least a little bit newer. 
these are these are pretty old. Uh, they they should probably still eat them, but I want to make sure they have some options. So I'm gonna go find some some newer oak leaves that the really new tender growth they don't like um, from past experience. But it's been a number of years since I've raised these guys, so I'm looking forward to um, getting them to eat and grow, and we'll have some fun with that. All right, it's been about a week. I think it's about a week since the eggs have hatched. I have let far too much time go by since cleaning this thing. That is 100% my fault. But we've got caterpillars, guys. We've got growing caterpillars. These guys are a third in star. Um, molting. Where they, they're looking healthy. They're all over the place. They're eating like crazy little monsters. And now my job is going to be to take out this. This, this was the old twigs that the eggs were laid on. Ooh, there's one. I'm going to throw him out. What are you doing in there, bud? Oh, he's molting. Dude, they're going to get big quick. It's going to get ridiculous. All right, so I'm just going to. Kind of put him there. Make sure I'm not throwing anybody else out. No. Okay. Yeah, so these, these twigs that are old and moldy, those are the ones that the eggs were initially laid on. And I put them in water picks and just rested them on top of these other leaves. So they do still have growth. It's not like they're without food, but there is some nasty old stuff in there. And I got to take it all out and... Put all new food in, guys. So that's what we're doing now. Um, put that over there. Let me pull this up here. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, that's a, I'm not going to show you. So good, healthy caterpillars all over the place. Okay, I have now emptied out this container. I've got putting a new liner in. And I've already got some new oak cuttings, which already have caterpillars on it. And I'm putting the new oak cuttings in the container. Gosh, what, I'm, what I really should do make two containers that's what i should do that would be the responsible thing split this in two because i've got to get all the caterpillars that are on this madness and split them up and put them into the new containers with new food because these guys are molting and they're eating and yeah they need they need healthier stuff than this they need a little room to grow too but aren't they cute aren't they so cute all right all right, I have two containers now, both with laurel oak cuttings. It's it's nice. It's like kind of fresh growth. It's a little bit tender, but it's not like super, super new. Um, and all we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take these uh, caterpillars and we're going to rest these stems that have the caterpillars on them. We're going to rest them equally between these two containers. And so this... This whole thing's got three, so we're just gonna rest it there. The guy just crawling around. Ooh, he fell. It'll be all right. Okay. Um. Okay, got some good healthy caterpillars on this stuff here, guys. They're all these guys are all just molting and having a good time. Actually, I'm gonna cut these guys off so I don't have to put these whole twigs in, like so. So I'll put these little pieces in like this. Just rest them on there. And that way, yeah, so it's got 
one, two, three, probably three of them on there. See if I can get this guy to come off. There we go. Oops. Little guy. <laughs> 